Good morning, folks. Watching the sun wasn't easy this morning. SDO website is down. Helio viewer has delayed AIA images. Luckily, the Proba 2 swap and 174 angstroms here cleaned up as always. It's been able to give us the full updated images every time SDO was delayed or down over the last decade. Interestingly, even with the delay, it's not long enough of a delay to miss another M-class solar flare and continued activity on the north. We're beginning to see activity on the south develop now as well, so hopefully NASA gets its act together today because eyes will be trained on the sun tonight. Let's peek in on the flare activity with the GOES X-ray flux. The uptick is quite significant compared to the flatlined activity before, but still about 10 to 20 times short of X-class range. While we monitor the eruptive activity, the solar wind is fairly calm at Earth, minor variations only, and completely within normal range. Geomagnetic conditions are calm at the moment. So we're off to the first article, and this one brings back memories. Planetary influence on solar cycles and solar flaring. The alignments, conjunctions, and oppositions provide an easy target for amateurs looking to find their first cosmic connection or coincidence, and it was even in our first book in 2015, Observing the Frontier. And while this paper further cements the statistical foundations, you'll probably want to know how it all works. We've got a playlist for that. It's linked for you in the daily resource list below the video in the description box. It's four videos, less than 20 minutes, well worth the time if you're new to the topic. Up next. The continued discovery of magnetic sense in the animal kingdom, and this time we're coming to the tiny where desert ants not only navigate using the Earth's field, but take steps to geolocate cues around their nest. Even later in life, when other cues are involved, the scientists were able to change those conditions and prove that those old timers still had their internal compass. Super cool. Up next, an excellent follow-up to the dozens of studies correlating exceptional space weather events to cardiac trauma. Flares, CMEs, geomagnetic storms, the biggest have the biggest effect, and the risk is growing as Earth's magnetic field is fading. Website members, if you didn't check out that deeper look at the end of September, it's got a lot of the space weather health information compiled into half an hour, including the heart-focused pieces we've done in the past. Now, last but not least, we are coming back to the Nova category. We have gone over how a long period recurrent solar micronova is the only way to explain every piece of evidence in the disaster cycle. We've shown how their paradigm is expanding in terms of tiny nova, no ejection nova, no flash nova, different ranges of progenitors and stellar types, and those thought to have a binary, which they now know do not. And now, perhaps one of the greatest challenges to the old guard comes with an undercutting of the double detonation model of type 1a supernova. These are the grandest versions of those recurrent nova events, which require the accumulation of a shell of material in the stellar atmosphere, which is then expelled. It turns out that every model of that triggering is now under fire from the low luminosity observations. The simple explanation is that what they thought it took to make a type 1a supernova actually not so strict. The type of star, the accumulation mechanism, maybe not so strict. And when you're talking about the even less luminous recurrent versions that supposedly also result from the interaction and accumulation, well, every door they'd have slammed shut on the solar micronova in the past is beginning to open. Learn more with the disaster playlist also listed below the video and with our book on Earth's catastrophe cycle and the solar micronova. Get it at otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.